I have an idea or I have a new invention, but I'm not sure whether it is novel or it is fulfilling the criteria of patent or not, whether I should move for patent or not. There are so many questions when we work on a new project, new research or new invention. But what if I tell you there is a way where you can check that your idea is patentable, means it is novel or not. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Shweta and as promised, I'm bringing you a video on patent searching where you can find out about your inventions novelty. But before I begin, I would request all those who are new to IP Jagruti, please do not forget to subscribe our channel because we bring IPR and technology together and we talk about intellectual assets and inventions. So let's begin. Stick to your seat and find out how to do patent searching. But before we start how to do patent searching, let's talk what is patent searching and what all are involved in patent searching. Patent searching is an art to find out the prior art related to your invention, related to your ideas, what is already there in market, what is already there in prior art. So the next question is what is prior art? Prior art is something which is already present in public domain. It can be granted patent, it can be published patent, it can be publication like your research papers, research articles, newspapers, magazines, any article, any story, any presentation, anything which is already present in public domain, any existing product also can be prior art. Now the next question arises why patent searching is important. First. Prior art is important just to explore the feasibility of your invention to get a patent. If, if your invention already have a prior art, that means it will be difficult for it to get a patent. So explore the feasibility by patentability search. Second, if you are doing patentability search, you are making sure that you are not infringing or copying someone other's invention. And also you are doing focused research, not reinventing the wheel. Third. Patent examiner in the patent office while examining your application will also do patentability check to see the novelty and non-obviousness of your invention. Now, if you are doing prior patentability check before filing the patent, you are helping yourself in getting the feasibility check of your invention and second you are also helping yourself that you are not copying anyone's invention and third while he that means patent examiner examining your invention you are helping yourself to come up with less number of objections fourth this is my personal thought that while doing the patent searching of your invention you encounter many of the patent related to your inventions which can kill your novelty and cannot kill your novelty. But while reading those inventions, you can identify the problem in those inventions which are patented and then you can work on the modification and improvement of those inventions. So it helps you to stay in the state of art. One disclaimer I want to put that no one can guarantee you 100% search result. Now comes the next question where you can do the patentability check or you can do the patent searching. There are paid and free databases. I will be talking about few paid databases and I'll be talking about few free databases and then I'll be guiding you how to do patent search on Google patents. Paid databases like Orbit, Patsier, Patsnap, Derwent and Total Patent and there are many paid databases you can search on Google you will find a lot. Free databases like Google patent, free patent online, USPTO, EPO, patent scope of WIPO. These are the few databases which I have told you which are unpaid. I'll be putting more in the description box with the link. Now, the main part of the video, how to do a Google patent search. Google patent is a free database and you can search your invention here. But before we begin, I would like to tell you that please do watch this video till end because in the end, I will tell you one main trick to do patent search. So let's begin with patent searching. The first step is brainstorming. You have to brainstorm the keywords, the key element, the key features of your invention. You, if you want to do a quality research, a quality patent search, you have to come up with the synonyms, right synonyms 
right keywords and right key features because these defines the best patent research or best patent search results. Second step, select features. Select features of your invention which you think represents your invention's novelty. After you have brainstormed the keywords and you have selected the features of your invention that is defining the novelty of your invention according to you. So the third step is go on Google patent and start searching. Go on Google, type Google patent. You will land up to Google patent page Click on the Google patent and you will be landing on the exact page where you will be getting all the patents. Now, type all the keywords relevant to your inventions, synonyms, exact features like here. I am giving you example, a random example I would say of a toothbrush which can actually detect the bacterial formation in your mouth, on your tooth. So here I am putting the keywords I would say toothbrush, tooth cleaner, mouth cleaner, sensor technology, antibacterial function. Let's see what the results come. Now see, there are so many results and this is a random search and a, with a random example. But you can be more specific with your keywords, which actually you think defines your invention. You will get more relevant uh, patent results here. So now you can open any of the patent results and you can start reading. I would request at least 5 to 10 results you should read while doing this search. The second way is going on patents.google.com slash advance. That means you are doing advanced patent search here. So once you have landed on advanced Google, Google patent search, you can write the synonyms. Synonyms means your keywords or related words of your key. So here, so here again, you can write tooth, you can write brush, you can write toothbrush, tooth cleaner, one by one synonyms you can write and you can again click on the search button and you will get uh, advanced search report here or search results here. So now you can see that you have so many results and now what you have to do, you have to map these results with your inventions. You have to see how your invention is different from these inventions and you have to find out the differentiating factor of your inventions with these inventions because you cannot copy or you cannot infringe someone's invention. You should, while reviewing each result, I would request go deep into the results and read the inventions, the patented inventions or the published invention, which you are getting very clearly because this will be actually making a huge difference while you are mapping your inventions. If your key features with their key features, your claims with their claim. I'm very sure if you follow these steps, Google patents and Google patents advanced search can actually help you to do a good research on your patent and do a focused research. Now, the important trick before which I told you to watch the video till the end. For this, I would request again you to open the advanced Google search. See, while I'm typing toothbrush here, I'm putting minus to sensor. Suppose my invention doesn't have a sensor technology or my inventions, my invention have sensor technology, but many of the inventions Many of the results which will come in the Google search will not have sensor technology. So why to miss those results also which does not have sensor technology but have some feature of antibacterial technology. So let's take those results also. So I will be putting a minus sign in front of those keywords which I want not to be included in my search result. So putting minus sign in the advanced search box it will delete the word from the search result which do not have those words. But it will have the relevant result. Why? Because they have those keyword which is already there in your search result. Like I deleted sensor technology or I deleted toothbrush but I am keeping antibacterial. So now the question arises why to delete or put minus in front of one relevant feature. See, when we are doing patent search, we need to review all the patents which is relevant for our invention. Maybe some of the features missing in some of the inventions or the patents can be relevant to us. So it is very important to do these tricks so that we get, we are very close, I would say, we are very close with the best result, not 100%, but at least 
to that percentage where we can say yes we are we have the novelty there are other ways also to do patentability search what we have done today is keyword search i can also suggest you for doing classification search if you want me to make a video on classification search you can write in the comment section i will definitely come with the classification search hope you all like this video because i have discussed today simple way to do patent search which can actually enhance and i would say not enhance your your knowledge but actually will give you confidence while you are thinking about an idea but then again while doing patent search on free databases i would recommend at the last moment when you are sure please take help of a patent attorney also or someone who is skilled in patentability search so this was all for today hope you enjoyed this video i would request all of you who have not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and if you want me to come up with any specific video related to ipr technologies inventions or innovations please do write to us in the comment section we will definitely try to come thank you so much for watching ip jagruti